The rumors about Apple's next iPhone have been swirling for months, and tonight the wait is over. While it may not be the major redesign some fans predicted, as John Blackstone reports, it does talk to you and will even answer a question or two. The introduction of the newest iPhone had been much anticipated, partly because for the first time Apple's new CEO, Tim Cook, took the place of Steve Jobs. This is my first product launch since being named CEO. I'm sure you didn't know that. One surprise, it's not the expected iPhone 5, but the 4S. It's faster with a better camera and one feature that sets it apart, says Apple Vice President Phil Schiller, voice recognition. For decades, technologists have teased us with this dream that you're going to be able to talk to technology and it'll do things for us. In Apple's demonstration, the phone actually understood conversational questions. Do I need a raincoat today? It sure looks like rain today. <laughs> but could it understand my questions? Can you help me with Italian restaurants? I found 13 Italian restaurants. 11 of them are fairly close to you. Lunch was no problem, but a plane reservation? What's the next flight uh, from San Francisco to New York? I can't help you with flights. Sorry. And then there's the really big question. Have you figured out the meaning of life? Try and be nice to people. Avoid eating fat. Read a good book every now and then. Of course, the big question for Apple, will this be enough to help the iPhone in the heated competition with smartphones running Google's Android system? Android phones now, no single Android phone comes close to outselling the iPhone, but in total, Android phones have more than 40% of the smartphone market. The iPhone has about 27%. John Blackstone for us. John, thanks.